guest. Hello, Sug. Go ahead and introduce yourself, my friend. Uh, hey, I'm John Dennis. I'm a musician out of Nashville. Thanks for having me. John uh -oh. Dennis Nashville. in the building. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, now, how do, how do we uh, get a hold of you online, my friend? Do you have a website or anything? I do. Uh, JohnDennisMusic.com and then, of course, Facebook. I've got John S.R. Dennis is the tag because there's a lot of John Dennis's in the world, but... Uh, yeah, johnmusic.com is good. Uh, how did you get in the music center? I actually started playing music in grade school. I was a saxophone player. But, oh, uh, snap. Ended up, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, the, lady, the lady's panty dropper. Yeah, sorry, I was a trumpet player. I mean, hey. <laughs> the lady's panty dropper. <laughs> Leave my panties out of it. I'm told at least. Uh, see, see, you heard her? Leave her panties out of it. <laughs> That is awesome. Yeah, said, hey, I, tell him to quit talking about us over here. <laughs> <laughs> Let the man talk. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, if people want to find you on social media, are you on Twitter or Facebook or any of these places? I am. I'm on Facebook. Uh, just type in John S R Dennis. Uh, I looked. And then Instagram. I'm on John Dennis Music and. Also is Twitter. it J O N or J O H N? H.N. Okay. I like this guy better. It's the same as mine. <laughs> oh, snap. Hey, John Dennis, can I ask you a question? Are you left or right-handed? <laughs> I'm right-handed. Uh, well, if you're that left, it would have you... been perfect, because then we all have been saying. See, see. <laughs> that means you guys lost your left-handed twins. Oh, my goodness. That's it. I mean, this guy sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Deep voice and stuff, yeah. so. Deep voice is a cool. I'm not talking about cool. deep voice. <laughs> Whatever. Just be quiet now. <laughs> I, I, that means both of us need to quit talking, right? That's right. Now, uh, now, now John, you're, you are uh, a, a brave new voice in American folk music. Sweet. Uh, how, how, did, how did you get this title, sir? Uh, I mean, I wish I could say someone gave it to me, but I gave it to myself. But uh, it's just... I'm looking I, I'm making him. folk music kind of in the, uh, the old-fashioned vein, but I feel like part of uh, the charm is that it's pretty unabashedly honest and raw, and um, I think there's substance to the lyrics that a lot of music today doesn't possess. And that's not to say all music, but a lot of music. So I just tried to tell it like it is. I just found you and liked your page. Look at that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, uh, how, how did you get some uh, following me? Because uh, I, I've gotten emails from people when we to hang on the show, and they were excited. And how did all this go for you? What's going on? Well, originally, I mean, originally, I have a lot of people in the family. I have a lot of people in the family. I have a lot of people in the family. I have a lot of people in the and signed a record deal with Throwing Feather Records and put out a new record. How long does it take you to get your first breaker kind of going that way? Well, I found my deal my junior year of college. I was, the month, so I, was, I was down in Nashville for three years, and so then it's been another four for this. This has all been going on. We, we actually uh, had an American songwriter this week, which is, was kind of a big deal. So. Oh, yeah. Sure. So how do you like Sit there and play on. Uh, you I don't play in so bars. Much the corner, mostly the bars and cafes. Um, everybody goes down and plays Broadway once in a while, but uh, I kind of frequent the cafes and the and the bar scene. Like coffee cafes. <laughs> I want to go to Nashville. Sometimes I mean. <laughs> It's like, you know, you kind of go around, you know, you're talking about that, and I was just like, ooh, Penny, you know. <laughs> hey, I like music. I like so a variety. 
She's about to blow. I'm a human electric she, cave catfish. Yeah, she's about to blow up. <laughs> she was about to just let John have it. Look at that. It is uh it is John Mosier, John Dennis, Jay Bird Wells, and uh Jay has dressed the, the for, for Fox News today, you know? <laughs> she's she doesn't have the pantsuit on, she's got the she 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 she, she looks sitting in a perfect spot for everybody to see her. <laughs> group right now, John. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. awesome. Matter of fact, get on the page. And yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. Get on the page and you'll it'll, it'll be on YouTube later. You can, you can see it there, sir. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, not, uh, not her panties. Uh, uh, those, I meant us. No, John, you got to go to a different <laughs> website to see yeah, that. Go, yeah, you got yeah, you to gotta subscribe to that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a dollar ninety nine a day or something yeah, like yeah. that. She makes a little bit off of it, but just we, a we, don't, we don't get none though. No, it, it's a turnkey business. I can't be M and M. See, see, we. Wow. Now, uh, now, 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 John, the uh, the the whole the whole thing that I hear from folks is that turn tragedy into hope with uh, into a second wind. Tell us about this. Uh. Well, um, I think a lot of big, big things that happened in my career that when I moved down to Nashville, I'd been dating this girl in high school, Adrian, back in Illinois, and she was killed in a car accident that first semester I was here. Um, and so that kind of sent me to that. down depression and, and anxiety and, and all kinds of stuff. And uh, in my coping, I ended up, you know, becoming sort of a full-blown alcoholic and, and kind of numbing the pain that way um, and I with the first record I really certainly dealt with a lot of the the issues that are coming up because they came up after later in the past but you know personally I haven't really run out any of it as that survivor skill death wish type of mentality yeah. um, and and so then I guess it, 2015 is when I decided to get over and bottomed out and cleaned up and then bottomed out again and um, ended up getting clean and so I'll have two years of sobriety in June. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But um, but this record, Second Wind, um, it's, it gets that title because not only it's the second record I'm putting out, but <clears throat> it's sort of like the second wind of my life. So a lot of the themes in it deal with, you know, choosing to heal and choosing to really face those demons once and for all and I have a question for you on that. I mean, this may help the other people out here. How did you come out of that? I mean, yeah. what was your motivation to come out of, of that, I hate to say the word, slump that you was in? Or the funk, you it know. The, funk, but, yeah. but, 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 but how did you come out of that? I mean, for some of the listeners out here, I'm sure there's plenty that's going through things, lost things in their life. You know, me, myself, personally, going through that. How did you come out of that? What was your motivation to do that? Well, certainly, um, you know, for a long time after she died, it was it was impossible for me to really believe deep down that she wanted me to continue or, or that, you know, any happiness that sort of came my way, I seemed to sabotage because I kind of thought that it was ill-deserved or I would rather have her still be around for it. Um, and so really it's totally bottoming out. Um, you know, I drank myself literally nearly to death. Um, and I guess sort of in that was the point at which I realized that, that you know the weight of the tragedy and the weight that I was carrying for trying to kill that I was self-imposed that to me before I got out of the room and visited her grave and uh, one of the things I, I said at the grave which is I can't care anymore you know it's literally killing me and then it took me being sober to realize that I was really carrying me the whole time. It was just thinking that I deserve to, to die, to be miserable, to, to be ruined, and then sort of one day at a time give healing a chance and giving the idea that there was some other way to live another chance. Uh, and finally, I got in, in music. Um, 
And so just kind of one day at a time, trying it differently, getting up and not and getting up and going to the park or getting a part-time job and, uh, you know, really trying to get up. Um, because, you know, one of the things I'd say is that for people who are stuck in that cycle and you're afraid that you can never get out of it, um, you know, that cycle's always going to be there. You know, if at some point, I, and this is, I don't want to sound pessimistic or dark, you know, if at any point in I have been to pick up the bottle again, the bottle ain't going anywhere. But the reality was I honestly gave some body and feeling up um, and then really tried it and it good and everything I ever want happened thanks to it. And so well, I gave it another chance there, John. Yeah, people but, are listening to what you just said, maybe that inspired them. But they're, they're, I hope so. There's, there's, there's help out there. there. Yeah. Now uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put you on hold. We're gonna play Second Wind. Tell us about the Second Wind here. The song Second Wind. Yes, yes. Uh, it's it's the opening track on the album. Um, it's sort of a driver, but it's very much about uh, it. Actually, in the chorus bars from Bob Dylan's "Blowing in the Wind," um, and so you can listen for that. It's basically the one that starts it out and lays it out and says. Uh, you know, I need my life to be reinvigorated because I'm weighed down and I, uh, I need something more. I need a breath of life. So awesome. Well, here we go. We're going to put you on. 